Today's video is the start of a project using the Odroid H2x86 motherboard. This very small single board computer packs a great deal into a very small 11 by 11 centimeter motherboard. A comparison with the comparable Mini ITX board used in the Warp Computer project highlights just how compact the Odroid is. Sporting not one, but two Ethernet ports and four USB connectors, as well as both HDMI and DisplayPort sockets, as well as audio in and out into the same side of the motherboard, makes it ideal for my project. The passively cooled Celeron processor allows the height to be minimised. The underside of the board has an M2 NVMe PCIe socket, into which I'll be putting a 128GB card. There are also two SODIMM sockets for DDR4 memory, allowing up to 32GB of memory to be added. Power is provided through a DC jack by a 15 volt 4 amp power adapter. Power consumption is quoted as 4 watts on idle and between 14 and 22 watts on full load. I've yet to test these parameters out, but so far they are ideal for this project. The real-time clock battery is the only thing not fixed to the motherboard. Power and reset buttons are mounted at the rear of the board. However, the GPIO connectors can be used to connect an external power switch which can then be mounted wherever needed. Status LEDs are also at the back of the board for SATA and M2 activity as well as power and active status. There is a fan connector on the board, however it is a micro socket for 5 volt fans. Installing Windows 10 Pro on the Odroid went without a problem, and I can now look to design the frame it will be mounted in, along with three or possibly four more Odroid computers. But that will be the subject of the next video. Thank you for watching.